Of course, Chris had other teachers. The animals. But taught him the most important things. How to have fun and... <laughs> ho! 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 How to laugh. Real hard and wonderful, like he meant it. Ho! 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 Well, years went by, and finally Chris was a fine young man. I'm a man now, Tanta. I can take those toys across the mountain of the Whispering Winds. It would be nice if someone played with our toys. If only one of my dollies could be held tight by a little girl. It's decided, then. Tomorrow, I leave for Sombertown. Yay! Tanta Kringle? Uh, I was just packing. Did I wake you up? I was awake anyhow. I made this for your trip. A real Kringle suit. So that's where he got the red suit. Yep. And he's always worn one just like it, right to this day. Well, Chris said goodbye to all his friends, elf and animal. Just as night was falling, Chris started to make his way through the dismal forest, which lay at the foot of the Warlock's Mountain. Hey! <laughs> Why, why, you're... Meep! Well, what is a doing here? Meep! You're looking for a steak? Pizza, pizza. A branch? A log? Pole? Pizza. The North Pole? Pizza. No, the South Pole. Pizza, pizza. Well, little fella, that's on the other end of the earth. You're just about as lost as you can get. You better travel with me. You need someone to take care of you. Now, now, cut that out. Come on, Ed, 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 Topper. We... I'll call you Topper. Okay? <laughs> Come on. This way, little feller. Who nears my mouth? Beep. Go back. Or you are doomed. Come on, Topper.